We have a major potential problem in the world of volcanoes and I am concerned that an ongoing situation has not yet been discussed by the news media. What I am referring to is what appears to be an ongoing intrusion of magma underneath the volcano which has not erupted for an estimated time of more than 100,000 years. For all intents and purposes, this volcano known as Kading, which the intrusion is centered underneath, should be extinct, and yet, an intense earthquake storm related to volcanic activity has resulted in damage to around 200 houses in the past week. Damage so far has even been significant to a number of structures, including cracked or partially collapsed walls. While the strongest two earthquakes were only magnitudes 4.0 and 4.6, these were sufficient to cause damage to certain brick structures which, when not reinforced, are one of the most likely building materials to suffer damage during an earthquake. Thankfully, there have been no casualties yet, but the ongoing situation is a potential cause for concern. This intrusion of magma is occurring at the Kading Volcano, which is located on the western portion of Indonesia's island of Java, where it is centered 72 kilometers south-southwest of the capital city of Jakarta. Kading is not believed to have erupted since the mid-Pleistocene, as evidenced by the deep ravines which have been carved on its flanks by heavy yearly rainfall. So, why is an intrusion of magma occurring at this volcano? Possibility 1 is that this volcano isn't truly extinct and that instead it merely underwent a 100,000 year long period of inactivity and is now slowly reawakening. I personally deem possibility 2 to be more likely as this suggests that a recent magmatic intrusion in the crust is now intruding through a local path of least resistance in the crust which just so happens to be the plumbing of the ancient Kading volcano. After all, magmatic intrusions not associated with a pre-existing volcano do occur and are an important step in the potential creation of a brand new volcano which in this case is caused by melted material of the subducted Indo-Australian plate underneath the Sunda plate. For context, the crust underneath the Kading volcano is approximately 35 kilometers thick, while the magmatic intrusion itself, which likely has a basaltic composition, has ascended to between 5 and 9 kilometers depth. While the first detected earthquake of the more than 35 earthquakes which have struck occurred on December 6th of 2023, it is quite likely that the magmatic intrusion began several days or even weeks beforehand but was not detected. This is because below 10 kilometers depth in the crust in Java, the crust switches from a brittle state which can generate earthquakes to a ductile state which is far more likely to bend than fracture, meaning the intrusion likely traveled through the ductile zone without us ever noticing. The evidence that we have to suggest that an intrusion of magma is occurring underneath the Kading volcano is fairly significant with the following points of evidence. Expanding on point 3, a volcanic quake usually involves a single point failure of rocks being broken by intruding magma like a wood plank being broken by a kick, while tectonic earthquakes generally involve a wider plane of failure involving shear forces. There is also the fact that a nearly identical earthquake storm occurred in the exact same location in August of 2019, which was also suspected to be related to an intrusion of magma. Yet, as those who live in close proximity to Kadein know, that volcano did not erupt in 2019. In my opinion, I am currently not too worried about an unexpected volcanic eruption occurring unless the earthquakes continue to get shallower in the crust and reach less than 3 kilometers depth. Currently, the main threat involves the risk of more damaging earthquakes that could occur in response to the movement of magma, and we do not know if or when the current intrusion will end and cease its upward motion. As a result, on my 0 to 10 opinion based volcanic unrest scale, I would place the Kadang volcano as a 4. As a final note, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.